As a teenager, I used to wear the bare minimum of makeup, some foundation, maybe some eyeliner and mascara if I was feeling particularly brave, but not a lot. But as time goes on, I find myself more and more interested and fascinated by makeup. And I think it came from being in the Adams family and having to put on a full face of quite extravagant makeup every day. And I really enjoyed that part of my role. And now I've brought that into my everyday life. So I thought I would show you how I do my makeup every day it's certainly not a tutorial because I am not that good at it but I really enjoy it and so I thought I would share that with you all. As you can see I've started with one of my firm favourites which is Lush's uh, moisturiser called Skin Drink and then I was very kindly sent some foundations by The Body Shop and they have lasted me so long I can't recommend them enough for that reason um, and I just mix and match between these four different shades which I will write down in the description so you know exactly what I'm using. Then I use a light dusting of this luxury powder from Revolution uh, in the colour Banana. I've never seen them do any other colours though so that might be the only colour they do, I'm not sure, but the colour I use is called Banana. Now I'm one of these people who never gets anywhere near enough sleep so I put the powder on, then I use this concealer um, from Freedom, which comes in this very nice little pot. I use that, and then I put powder on again, just to make the dark circles under my eyes a little less purple. I have this very handy little focus and fix eyebrow shaping kit from Revolution. Uh, the colours are medium to dark, but I always find myself using the darker colour, because I have very deceptively dark eyebrows, even though I'm blonde. As always, this is as good as it's gonna get. This is my NYX, or NYX. I've always called it NYX, but apparently it's NYX. This is my Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette, although I do use it for my eyeshadow <laughs> as well. Um, and I honestly just run my brush over this entire palette and go to town on my cheeks. Now this next product is very, very old. As you can see, the writing is sort of faded off the front, but it's from Collection and it's called Bronze Glow Mosaic. And I just use that to contour as best I can. I never used to use an eyeshadow base, but now I do. I use one from MYX um, and I just put that on onto my eyes like a cream eyeshadow before I put my actual eyeshadow on. This is a very, very new purchase. Um, I found that Revolution are doing these I Heart Makeup chocolate palettes. They have a huge range of them, uh, but my favorite was the mint chocolate palette. I'm using a color at the moment called Secret, and then on top of that, I use a color called Awaken, which is a little bit darker. And with my very handy double-ended body shop brush, uh, the other end's a little bit chiseled, so I use that to do a thin, darker line with Awaken underneath my eye and then I just use a fluffier eyeshadow brush to blend it all out. Playing Wednesday in the Adams Family gave me a very long time to perfect the cat flick eyeliner. I use the NYX Epic Ink Liner, which is essentially a felt tip pen for your eyes. I will never use anything else to do my eyeliner ever again because it makes it so much easier. And if any of you struggle with this and wanna get better at it, I highly recommend a felt tip pen for your eyes. <laughs> I absolutely adore Barry M's mascara. This is a new one that I bought recently called Feature Length, which I'm absolutely loving. It's brilliant. Uh, I used to use one called That's How I Roll, um, but I think this one just takes the edge. It's got a plastic brush instead of a bristly brush, which means it goes on really sleek and smooth and is never clumpy, and I think it's great. NYX have a range of lipsticks called NYX Lingerie. This colour is called French Made and I picked it up maybe three months ago and I've fallen in love with it. You have to put a very thin layer on your lips otherwise it does start to go a little bit clumpy and you get that weird lipstick line on the inside of your mouth uh, quite early on in the day. But as long as you've got a thin layer on it still stays on for ages and it dries matte which makes you forget that you're wearing lipstick which I guess is why it's called Lipstick Lingerie. Very clever. And that's pretty much all there is to it. I really, really enjoy doing my makeup these days. Um, it makes me feel very artistic in a strange way and really sets me up for the day ahead. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe there'll be more in the future. Who knows? Bye.